Hey everyone, let's talk about The Familiar 2 by Mark Z. Danielewski and why I'm not continuing with the series. So I'm gonna put this down because this is heavy. This has not been an easy decision and I feel like I should explain it. When the series started in 2015, I was all excited. I made a video and I think I convinced quite a few people to pick up the series. And when book two came out, I picked it up and I remember that I couldn't really get into it and put it aside for a short while. That was the intention. I read 160 pages but couldn't get into it. And I didn't mean to leave it lying around for three years. But life happened. If you follow me around, you know that the last two years have been pretty exhausting and I didn't have the headspace for such a complex and yeah, demanding story. So this week I thought, I'm good again. Let's pick it up. I have a lot of time. And in the beginning, it was really easy to find my way back into the writing. It just flows, the story, well, it didn't really capture me, but I found my way back in. But I also realized that because there were so many different story lines that I forgot a lot after such a long time. So I looked up, like every person, a summary of book one and what I came across disappointed me. I found out that the series was discontinued in the beginning of this year, February 2018, and there were only five books. So this kind of destroyed my motivation to keep on reading a little bit. Nevertheless, I was intent on finishing book two and book three, which I already own. So I read what happened in book one and the summaries triggered some memories and I continued reading. But after a while, I noticed that something has changed. My excitement for the book has gone. And that was something that I was afraid might happen after reading book one, because I still stand by what I said in the video about book one. I love the design. I love all the intricate things, the mysteries and what's going on, the way the stories are told and the way the book is written and put together. I love all the work that went into it, but I don't really care about most of the storylines. I noticed that the only storyline I really care about is the one with Santa and I know it's not going to end. I know there are only five books out and that the story will not end. And I'm not a big fan of that. In the last two years, a lot of things have happened, but one thing has happened particularly that my dislike of unfinished and never ending series has grown. I'm not a fan of series that take multiple books or episodes to tell one story. I'm a fan of telling multiple stories in one world in different episodes or books but I'm not a fan of having to read 10 books, 20 books, 30 books to finish a story. And that I think is killing this series for me right now. There is no end, I know that. I will only get sucked into more of the mysteries of the different storylines of people where I noticed Luther, I really don't care and like his storyline. Jing Jing, I have more and more problems understanding and I would have to invest a lot more research into this book and the story than I'm willing to do at the moment. I don't know if this might have been different if I didn't know that it ended and I am disappointed because I really like the idea and I really don't want to discourage anyone to read the five books that are out to invest in the fandom and the discussions that are going on, which are out there. I know they are, but I'm not that type of reader. I like to really find everything in one book and then mull it around, but not have to read so many books to come to a conclusion to something. And so after 316 pages, I decided to stop. I decided to put it aside and leave it for now. I'm not giving up on Mark Z. Danielewski. I'm going to read his other books and enjoy his writing and his ideas and the quirkiness that he brings to reading. But The Familiar, unfortunately, has died for me with the discontinuation of the series. I'm sad about this because looking back at the video I made three years ago, I was so excited about this and I really was looking forward to diving into this again, but it's just not working anymore. And kind of I'm sad because that means I've changed too in the last three years, which I guess is normal. So couldn't complain about that. Nevertheless, I want to hear from you. Have you read the series? Have you looked into it? Have you given up earlier before the series was discontinued? Because it was discontinued due to lack of readers, which I can understand. I mean, 
I'm behind on reading all the books, so book four and five must have seen less sales. But that I think is normal in a series. You don't keep up with every book at the book release. But unfortunately that also means series get discontinued because there are not enough people reading it. Let's talk about the familiar in comments and I don't know, just tell me what you want. Thank you all for watching. Bye bye.